Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bowditch Field in Framingham for Hopkinton at Senior Ruth Baseball. And today, it is a playoff game, game two of the best of three series with Framingham. Framingham currently leads the series one to nothing, so the Hillers will have to get a win here today to play on. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. Tommy Ambrosoni stepping to the plate to face Nate Thurber, who's on the mound for Framingham, and the first pitch is up high, one and zero. Oh. It is a nice night here at Bowditch Field. Temperatures in the low 80s, a little bit of humidity, but not too bad. There's a strike, one and one. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Hillers. Tommy Ambersoni, the center fielder, starts things off. Ronnie Sheamus, the third baseman, is batting second. Connor Kelly, the right fielder, hitting third. Lineup and the pitch down low. The pitcher, Alex Barker Hook, is hitting cleanup. Jack Breslin, the left fielder, hitting fifth. Dylan Locke, the catcher, hitting sixth. Matt Cooper, the shortstop, hitting seventh. Andrew Gunn, the first baseman, hitting eighth. Chase Doherty, the second baseman, hitting ninth. And Tommy McAuliffe hitting tenth as the extra hitter. As this is hit in the air over to right field, and it is caught by the shortstop. One away. That'll bring up Ronnie Sheamus, the third baseman. The Hillers are 8-4-1 and one overall on this season. And of course, this is an elimination game in the postseason in the best of three series with Framingham having the one to nothing series lead. Framingham took down Hopkinton this past Saturday night, five to three. Hopkinton was missing a number of players due to AAU commitments, but they pretty much have the full roster available tonight. And we'll get you the Framingham Diamond in just a minute as Nate Thurber is set to deal. A little outside there, 2-0. Nate Thurber is the pitcher. Cody Coleman behind the plate. Brian O'Donnell at first base. Antonio Rivera, the second baseman. Alexis Rivera, the shortstop. And at third base, J.J. Blanchard wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle left side. Glove by the shortstop, and he drops it. Tough play to make. I'm giving him a single for that one. Sheamus is aboard with one out. That'll bring up Connor Kelly, the right fielder. Let's take a look at the outfield for Framingham from left to right. Luke Springs, Andrew Keene, and Nick Spring. Thurber set to deal. There's a strike. The Hillers took down Framingham in a sprinkler shortened game a couple weeks ago. Right here at Bowditch Field, seven to nothing was the final in that one. The sprinklers came on and they ended up having to call the game, a swing and a miss there. But the Hillers were up seven to nothing and rallying anyhow, so things were looking good. And they ended up getting the well-deserved win. Thurber takes a peek at first, slight lead by Sheamus. Wind up and the pitch fouled away. Count remains 0 and 2. Connor Kelly getting the sign from Coach Simos. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught. Four out number two. That'll bring up Alex Barker Hook, the pitcher. The Hillers were up by a run all the way to about the sixth inning this past Saturday. And then Framingham rallied and ended up scoring three runs of their own. That's fouled away. Oh and one, the count on Barker Hook. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, runner taking off and a stolen base for Sheamus. Sheamus showing off the wheels. 
Barker Hook set to step back in, facing the 1-1. One -one. Big lead by Sheamus at second base. That pitch is low. Sheamus thought about it. And he stays put. He's certainly a threat to take off with that speed. Alex Barker Hook went one for three in Saturday's game and drove in one of the three Hopkinton runs. That pitch inside. Three and one. He's hit well on the season, a 294 overall. 415 on base percentage for Barker Hook. Takes that one high and draws the walk. That'll bring up Jack Breslin, the left fielder. Breslin, a 429 on the season, 500 on base percentage. He has a home run to his credit, 12 RBIs and seven runs scored. Two on, two outs. And he'll put this one up the middle, and it's bobbled by the third baseman. Everyone's safe. That looked like a pretty routine play there, but he was unable to hang on. And Breslin is aboard on the error. That'll bring up Dylan Locke. Dylan Locke, three RBIs on the season, four runs scored. Thurber set to deal. Couldn't hold his swing there. There's a strike. He has a 556 batting average, 667 on base percentage. Impressive numbers there. Nine at bats overall. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll tattoo this ball off the glove of the second baseman. One run is in. Here comes another run to score. And it's two to nothing, Hillers. A two RBI single for Dylan Locke. Nearly a nice play by the second baseman, but it just went right off his glove. And the Hiller is pushed two across. Jack Breslin up to third, locked to first. Matt Cooper to the plate. Matt Cooper, 227 batting average on the season, 346 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch. Up high, runner from first takes off. And the catcher's going to hold because he knew what the Hillers were thinking there. If he threw that ball, Breslin was jetting down that line. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. 2 and o. Where The Hillers have a lot of speed on this roster, and they're not afraid to take off in just about any situation. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, two and one. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit up the middle. Glove by the shortstop, throw to first in time. Six to three, four out number three, but the Hillers played a pair. They lead it two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first on HCAM. Bottom of the first inning, Framingham coming up to the plate. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers. On the mound for Hopkinton, it is Alex Barker Hook as Cody Coleman, the catcher, set to step in and start things off for Framingham. Let's take a look at the batting order. Cody Coleman, the catcher, batting first. Luke Spring, the center fielder, hitting second. There's a strike. Alexis Rivera, the shortstop, hitting third. Nate Thurber, the pitcher, hitting cleanup. J.J. Blanchard, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Rodrigo Ramirez, the extra hitter, hitting sixth, and pitch outside, one and one. Andrew Keene, the center fielder, hitting seventh. Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman, hitting eighth. Antonio Rivera, the second baseman, hitting ninth. And Nick Spring, the right fielder, hitting 10th. Outside there, two and one. The Hillers diamond, Alex Barker hook on the mound. Dylan Locke behind the plate, Andrew Gunn at first base. Chase Doherty, the second baseman, Matt Cooper, the shortstop. Ronnie Sheamus at third base, down low. Left to right, Jack Breslin, Tommy Ambersoni, Connor Kelly. 
Barker Hook set to deliver. And this is up the right side, gloved by the first baseman, a three unassisted ground out. One away, that'll bring up Luke Spring. Spring steps in. There's a strike. Here's the 0 1. And this is up the left side, gloved by the third baseman. Throw to first, he got him. 5 to 3, 4 out number 2. That'll bring up Alexis Rivera, the shortstop. Alex Barker Hook has pitched 13 and a third of an inning for the Hillers this season. A blazing fastball there for strike one. He has no wins and no losses recorded. A zero ERA, however, in his 13 and a third. That's fouled away. 0 and 2. He has 23 strikeouts recorded on the season. Impressive numbers. By Alex Barker Hook. Miller is certainly happy to have a lot of the AAU guys back today and for Tuesday's game, of course, if they win here today. One and two. Line up and the pitch down low. Two two pitch, swing and a miss. One two three, they go to the top of the second. We go. You are tuned in to Hiller's Senior Ruth Baseball on H Cam. Top of the second inning, first pitch of the inning. Hit in the air to right field and caught. Four out number one. That was Andrew Gunn flying out to start the inning. And that will bring up Chase Doherty. Little pop fly to shallow right field. A 2 nothing lead for the Hillers. And there's a strike to Chase Doherty. Nate Thurber, the pitcher for Framingham. This is game two of a best of three playoff series. If Hopkinton wins, we'll see you tomorrow at Hopkinton High School as that pitch is outside. If Framingham wins, they advance. Framingham took game one this past Saturday evening, five to three. Hillers didn't have many players available because of AAU commitments. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Well, that's one of the things about these Legion season senior Ruth. Of course, a lot of players are double rostered, committed in AAU programs, so you just got to deal with the circumstances. Wind up and the pitch down low. Two and two. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on the call. John Ritz on camera. Wind up and the pitch. And this is fouled off. Count remains two and two. Line up and the pitch, down low. Full count. That is low as well, and the walk is drawn. One on, one out. Tommy McAuliffe, the extra hitter to the plate. A loaded week of baseball it has been here on HCAM between the Ashland Sevens and, of course, now Hiller's senior Ruth as there's a strike there. And we have a whole lot more games coming up for you all throughout the week.
Line up and the pitch. And there's a the ball. Good eye there. Tommy McAuliffe just able to hold. Set to deliver. And he'll get a piece of this one. That's a fair ball on the grass. And it's bobbled by the third baseman. Everyone's safe. A difficult play to make there. But I'm going to have to give that an error. That'll bring up Tommy Ambersoni, the center fielder. I have time called as the plates umpire, or excuse me, the base umpire wants to get into position. It's Tim McDonald on the bases today. Great umpire. He actually did the both Ashland Sevens games that we had for you against Hyde Park as they advanced on to the final four with their win yesterday as this is hit up the middle and it's gloved by the second baseman, throw to first, pulled the first baseman off the bag, but he was able to keep the foot down just long enough for the out. The runners on base did advance, Darty up to third, McAuliffe to second, a four to three ground out there and now Ronnie Sheamus steps to the plate. And the Ashland Sevens, they'll be in action tomorrow as well over in Quincy. And they'll actually be playing Quincy in their first Final Four game in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. And we're hoping that we'll be at Hopkinton High School for game three of this series. Ronnie Sheamus, 364 on the season, 588 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 0-2 oh, count. Set to deliver. Sheamus, an RBI and a run on the season. And he puts this one in the air, and it's going to be foul right off the light pole. Count remains 0-2. Oh, There's another 0-2 pitch coming up. And that hit him. Off to first base goes Sheamus. That'll bring up Connor Kelly, the right fielder. Sheamus taking one for the team. Connor Kelly steps in. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Kelly is off to a good start. An 18 at bats, 333 batting average, 400 on base percentage, six RBIs, six runs scored. Wind up and the pitch. Gets away from the catcher. Runner at third will hold. But his base is loaded with two outs for the Hillers. They played it a pair of runs in the first inning. Both came with two outs. It was a two RBI base hit by Dylan Locke to drive in Sheamus and Barker Hook. That's fouled off. One and two is the count. Line up and the pitch, and he'll put this one high in the air, left side, and it is caught by the third baseman for the out. And we will head to the bottom of the second, Hopkinton leading Framingham in game two of this three-game series, two to nothing on HCAM. Bottom of the second inning, a 2 nothing lead for Hopkinton. 4-5 and 6-2 up for Framingham. Nate Thurber, the pitcher, steps in. He'll be followed up by J.J. Blanchard and Rodrigo Ramirez. There's a strike. 
Barker Hook had a nice first inning, getting a strikeout to retire the side. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first, not a problem. Six to three, four out number one. That'll bring up J.J. Blanchard. Lefty steps in and takes a strike. Wide up and the pitch, fouled away. 0 oh and 2. So if Hopkinton wins here, the game tomorrow will be 630. Hopkinton High School on the turf fields. The winner of that game will move on to the Winner of the Marlboro Medway series. Marlboro currently up one game to nothing in that series. There's strike three. I'll bring up Rodrigo Ramirez, the extra hitter. Of course, for those that don't know, in Senior Ruth, you get an extra hitter. It's a 10-man lineup. Line up and the pitch. That's nice, the Hillers getting to utilize their high school jerseys for this senior Ruth season. And you wonder what the future of the senior Ruth program will be after this season, if it'll stick around or not, as this is driven into center field, that'll be a base hit. Two out single there for the extra hitter. That'll bring up Andrew Keene, the center fielder. Line up and the pitch, down low. One and O oh is the count. Swing and a miss, one and one. Paul Jakes on the balls and strikes in the umpiring crew to McDonald on the bases. And the runner taking off, throw to second, is not in time. Stolen base there by Ramirez. Barker Hook steps off the mound to get the runner back to the second base bag. One on, two outs, down low. Two and two is the count. Parker Hook looks at second and deals. There, strike three, gets him looking. And we will head to the top of the third. Hopkinton leading Framingham in game two of this best of three series, two to nothing on HCAM. Top of the third inning, four, five, and six do up for the Hillers. Alex Barker Hook, Jack Breslin, Dylan Locke. Hopkinton off to a two to nothing lead. This is the dangerous part of their lineup here. Barker Hook scored one of the two runs in the first inning, and he swings and misses there after he walked. 294 batting average for Barker Hook, 415 on base percentage, 11 RBIs, four runs scored. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Set to deliver. There's a called strike, one and two. Lights are on here at Bowditch Field. A little bit of cloud coverage 
over us and there were some storms moving through this state today but they seem to have stayed north of us and we should be okay to get this one in two and two of course with the humidity there's certainly going to be a pop-up thunderstorm or two as Barker Hook will go down by way of the K that'll bring up Jack Breslin Jack Breslin at a 429 coming into this game today. And he'll put this one in the air foul. 500 on base percentage for Breslin. 28 at bats. 12 RBIs, 7 runs scored, and a home run to his credit. Line up and the pitch. Outside. One and one. Thurber set to deal up high. Two and one is the count. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit in the air past the reach of the shortstop. And that'll be a one out base hit for Jack Breslin. Now bring up Dylan Locke, the catcher. That was pretty good ups from Alexis Rivera, but fell just a little bit short of snagging that one. Checking at first, runner back safe. Now Jack Breslin will have to do some laundry tonight. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. Look out, oof. Oh, very close to one of the coaches over there. And Dylan Locke, classy move there, apologizing. Coach laughing it off. Line up and the pitch. Down low, checking at first, runner back safe. Oh, with the dirt here at Bowditch, might need some stain remover to get rid of some of that. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Checking at first, runner back safe. Now Dylan Locke, he likes to challenge pitchers to throw over. Out the way. Locke on the season does not have a stolen base yet, but certainly has some speed. Excuse me, it's Breslin on base. Jack Breslin actually is a big threat to steal. He has five stolen bases on the season. Swing and a miss. Check in and runner is safe. That'll bring up Matt Cooper, the shortstop. Looks like maybe Nate Thurber has settled down a little bit. Keeping the Hillers at bay so far. Line up and the pitch. Inside there, one and oh. Checking at first, and now they got him. Well, Breslin, I think, was a little tripped up trying to get back, and he got picked off. Four out, number three. We will move along to the bottom of the third. Hopkinton leading Framingham in game two of this best of three series. Two to nothing on H Camp. A nice night here at Bowditch Field. Some clouds in the sky, the lights are on, but a comfortable atmosphere. It was certainly a humid day, and we'll have quite a few of those this week, but it has since cooled off. Seven, eight, nine, and ten do up for. Framingham, Brian O'Donnell set to step in, followed by Antonio Rivera and Nick Spring. Barker Hook set to deliver, time taken. There's a strike. Now 
Lineup and the pitch. Up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, and a nice job by Andrew Gunn keeping his foot on the bag there. The throw was a little to his right, but he's just able to keep that foot on the bag. And that'll bring up Antonio Rivera, the second baseman. Line up and the pitch. There's a bunt filed away. Set to deliver. A little low. Swing and a miss. One and two is the count. Line up and the pitch. Hit high in the air over to right center and it's caught by the right fielder. Two away. Nice job by Connor Kelly getting there. That'll bring up Nick Spring, the right fielder. Line up and the pitch, a little high. Fouled away. One and one is the count. Parker Hook set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught. Four out number three. One, two, three, they go. And we will head to the top of the fourth inning. Hopkinton leading Framingham two to nothing on H Cam. Top of the fourth inning, and the Hopkinton Hillers are leading two to nothing in front of a good crowd on hand here tonight in game two of this best of three series. Tom Nappy happy to be with you on the call. John Ritz on camera. Matt Cooper set to step in. Seven, eight, and nine do up for the Hillers. Matt Cooper, Andrew Gon, Chase Doherty to face Nate Thurber, who's pitched pretty well the last couple of innings. First pitch there is down low, one and oh. Line up and the pitch, and this is driven up the middle, and it's going to be picked up by the second baseman to throw over in time. One away, and a pretty nice play there by Antonio Rivera. That'll bring up Andrew Gunn, the first baseman. Line up and the pitch, down low. Set to deliver, down low. Two and oh. He deals, and that hit him. Andrew Gunn taking one for the team. That'll bring up Chase Doherty, the second baseman. That is the second hits batsman on the Hillers tonight. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one is the count. Line 
Up and the pitch, and it'll get a piece of this one, and it's bobbled by the third baseman, the throw over, not in time. And it's gonna sail all the way to the fence on the first base side, and Andrew Gaughan's gonna advance to third, and now Chase Doherty off to second. So a little bobble by the third baseman, then the overthrow, allowing him to advance. And Andrew Gaughan got all the way to third. So a couple errors on that play, and that'll bring up Tommy Ambrosoni, or excuse me, Tommy McAuliffe. Tommy McAuliffe, 500 batting average on the season and six at bats, 700 on base percentage. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Thurber set to deliver. Down low, and that's going to get away from the catcher. Here comes the runner from third, and he will get in there and score a run as the ball gets away. Andrew Gunn coming around on the wild pitch. Chase Doherty up to third. It's a 3 nothing Hillers lead. The Hillers taking advantage of some fielding miscues by Framingham. They committed their second and third errors in the inning. Set to deliver. Outside. Line up and the pitch. That's fouled away. Two and two. He deals. Fouled away. Count remains two and two. Thurber set to deliver. There's a strike. That is the second out of the inning. Now Tommy Ambersoni will step in. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Ambersoni 0 for 2 today. He deals outside. One and one is the count. Line up and the pitch, and Ambersoni gets a piece of this right back to the pitcher. He'll run it out, flip to first, not a problem. And that will do it for the top of the fourth. But the Hopkinton Hillers do play another run. They lead it three to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth on HCAM. Bottom of the fourth inning. A Three to nothing lead for the Hillers. Top of the order for Framingham. Cody Coleman is at the plate. He'll hit this one up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first, and it is in time. One away. That'll bring up Luke Spring, the center fielder. Barker Hook has pitched a nice game so far this evening. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. B 
the 0 1 inside. One and one. Set to deliver, and this is up the left side, ranging over is the third baseman. Throw over, not a problem. Nice play there by Sheamus. Five to three for out number two. That'll bring up Alexis Rivera, the shortstop. So far, Rivera 0 for 1 today. Line up and the pitch from Barker Hook inside. Brando. Set to deliver. There's a strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2 and 1. There is warm-up action for Framingham, a blazing fastball there, 2 and 2. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Four out number three. One, two, three, they go to the top of the fifth we go. The Hillers leading Framingham three to nothing in game two of this best of three series on HCAM. Top of the fifth inning, the Hillers coming back up to the plate. Ronnie Sheamus will step in. Two, three, and four do up for Hopkinton. So far, Sheamus has singled and been hit by a pitch. Hopkinton trying to stay alive in the postseason by getting a win here tonight and force a game three tomorrow in this best of three series at Hopkinton High School. That game would be at 6.30 p.m. Of course, if Framingham wins today, the series would be over. Wind up in the pitch, outside. Two and oh is the count. Set to deliver, down low. Three and oh on Sheamus, so far tonight. Has a perfect on base percentage. And there's a strike. I think Seamus was thinking he had the walk there. And he'll put this one foul, and that was a rocket. Fortunately, no one got hit by that one. Certainly got to keep your eyes open when you're along these first and third base sides. There's a walk. And we'll bring up Connor Kelly, the right fielder. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. The 0 1. And this is a fair ball. Picked up by the pitcher, throws the second, and he did get the out at second. So Kelly reaches on the 1 to 4 force out, and that'll bring up Alex Barker Hook. Barker Hook is 0 for 1 today with a walk.
And the runner going to take off, throw to second, and he is going to grab the steal. It'll be a 1-0 and count on Barker Hook. Outside. Line up and the pitch. A little outside. Three and O. Oh. Set to deliver, and he'll draw the walk. Second walk of the inning, surrendered by Nate Thurber, and that'll bring up Jack Breslin. Runners on first and second, one out for the Hillers. So they're trying to add on some security. Line up and the pitch, and this is going to be hit up the right side, and off the second baseman's glove it goes, and everyone's safe. Hard hit ball by Breslin and an attempt by Rivera to make a diving play, but it just pretty much went, bounced right off his glove and he could not do anything with it. That'll bring up Dylan Locke. Some ominous looking clouds off in the distance. As Thurber set to deliver. Inside, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. One and one is the count. So a lock of 556 batting average coming into this game, nine at bats, takes that one high. And a 667 on base percentage. Set to deliver. There's a strike. Two and two. Bases are loaded for the Hillers, one out. Down low, gets away from the catcher. Here comes the runner from third, no one there to cover. He will score. Well, the pitcher got in there a little late. There was a little hesitation by Thurber to cover home plate, and that allows Connor Kelly to come around and score. Up to third goes Barker Hook, Breslin to second. And Dylan Locke facing a full count. One out in the inning, a 4 nothing lead for the Hillers. Line up and the pitch. Down low, he'll draw the walk. Bases are reloaded for Hopkinton and Matt Cooper coming up to the plate. Wind up and the pitch inside. Cooper 0 for 2 today. Set to deliver. Outside. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. A little high. And this is a 
Andrew Keen on the mound for Framingham. He started off this inning for Thurber. Leg left and the pitch fouled away. Three and one on Cooper. Bases loaded. One out for the Hillers. Another run already in. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. And there's another walk and a run for the Hillers. Parker Hook around to score. Breslin to third, Locke to second, Cooper to first, Andrew gone to the plate. And now we're gonna get a discussion on the mound. Keen just struggling to find the strike zone. He's walked three hitter, or make that four hitters in this inning. So we'll see if they end up keeping him in the game or not. And some clouds moving in, but according to the radar, we should be clear for the remainder of this game. Gone is 0 for 1 today. He was hit by a pitch and scored a run in the fourth. And now he has a chance to break this game wide open with the Hillers already up 5 to nothing and the bases loaded. Outside. I'm not quite sure why they took out Thurber so early. He had a pretty good second, third, and fourth inning. Swing and a miss. Keen set to deal. That is low. Two and one. Leg lift and the pitch, and this is fouled off, two and two. Hopkinton leading five to nothing here in the top of the fifth. He scored two runs in the first, another run in the fourth, and already a pair here in the fifth. And this is hit in the air, foul. Count remains two and two. Here at Bowditch, it's 346 to left, 364 to center, 304 to right field. Certainly a good hitter's ballpark. That's fouled away, especially if you like to drive the ball to right field. Count remains two and two. Battle continuing on between Andrew Gahn and Andrew Keene. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Full count. Set to deliver. And this is up the left side foul. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, he'll draw the walk and a run will score. Gon wasn't aware that he drew the walk there. He was telling Breslin, come on. So it's a six to nothing lead for the Hillers. Base is still loaded. Lock at third, Cooper at second, Gon at first, Chase Doherty to the plate. And looks like, at least for the moment, they'll leave Keen on the mound. And Scott Pagliuca is in the on deck circle, so it looks like he may come in and hit for McAuliffe. That's fouled away.
call for B do up next. Looks like Pagliuca is going to step into the box and take a few swings after Chase Doherty's through. There's a strike. 0 and 2. Bases loaded, one out in the inning. Three more runs have scored for the Hillers. They lead it 6 to nothing. Line up and the pitch, and this is fouled away. So the playoff scenarios are if Hopkinton wins this game, there'll be a game three tomorrow night at Hopkinton High School on the turf fields at 6.30. If Framingham wins, Framingham would advance. And the other series is Marlboro and Medway. Marlboro leading that series one to nothing heading into tonight's action. As that it was fouled off to the tennis courts behind us. Yeah, a couple people playing tennis are looking around and wondering where that ball came from. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and two. Chase Doherty's had a pretty good day at the plate. He has been hit by a pitch and reached on an error. And a good hold up there on the swing to make it a two and two count. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, they'll fill it up. If he walks him here, I don't know how you leave him out there for another hitter. Set to deliver. Fouled away. Yeah, this is a good at bat here by Chase Doherty, really making Keen have to battle. Leg lift and the pitch. There's strike three and out number two. I'll bring up Scott Pagliuca, who's pinch hitting for Tommy McAuliffe in the extra hitter's slot. And he couldn't hold there, there's a strike. If Pagliuk is able to reach, the Hillers would have batted around in the inning. And he'll hit this one in the air, sky high, left side, and it is caught. The Hillers do play three more runs, and they lead it six to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fifth on H-Cam. Flashes, uh-oh. Bottom of the fifth inning, a six-nothing lead for Hopkinton. Stepping in is Nate Thurber, 4-5 and 6-2 up. Thurber was the starting pitcher, then moved over to center field and swip swapped with Keene. There's a strike. Well, we're watching the radar closely. There are some storms approaching the area. They could miss us, but there is some lightning off in the distance, so we'll certainly keep an eye on that. One and one to count. After this fifth inning, we will have an official game, so if anything shall hit us, it would at least be official. One and two. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air over to right field. That's gonna get down for a hit. Second hit of the ball game for Framingham. I'll bring up J.J. Blanchard, the third baseman. So a runner aboard for Framingham. There's a strike. Parker Hook set to deliver the 0-1. One and one. Wind up and the pitch. 
Pull outside, says the umpire. Two and one. Parker Hook looks at first and deals. And this is hit foul. Two and two. Looking for a baseball out on the field. Parker Hook back to the mound and we are set to continue on. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one away. That'll bring up Rodrigo Ramirez, the extra hitter. One on, one out. And he is gonna drive this into center field and there'll be two aboard with one out. Second hit of the inning for Framingham. Andrew Keene, the center fielder, will step in. The umpire gonna clean off home plate. Keen set to step in. Line up and the pitch, bunt pulled back. Runners will hold. Parker Hook set to deal. There's a strike. One and one. What was the first time that Parker Hook has really had a battle through any kind of situation with a pair of base runners on for Framingham. Set to deliver. There's a bunt, foul. One and two. Parker Hook winds and deals. Little inside, says the umpire. Two and two. That looked like it just grabbed the corner. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, out number two. That'll bring up Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman. Outside, 1-0. and Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. 1-1. One and one. Parker Hook deals, and that's going to get away from the catcher, and both runners are going to advance. First wild pitch of the game for, from Barker Hook. Two and one. O'Donnell 0 for 1 today. He's grounded out so far. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Parker Hook with two strikeouts in the inning. Fouled away. A little rain starting the fall.
Six strikeouts overall by Barker Hook. There's strike three. And that will wrap up inning number five. We will head to the top of the six. Hopkinton leading Framingham six to nothing on HCAM. All right, folks, I am back. Had to uh, go get a rain jacket just in case that storm moves in for the camera. Tommy Ambersoni draws a walk to start off the inning. And now Ronnie Sheamus steps in. First pitch to Sheamus is low. One and oh. Third pitcher of the game on the mound for Framingham. Down low. Nick Anderson out there on the mound. Wind up. And the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right center. That'll get down for a hit. Tommy Ambersoni heading to third. And it'll be runners on the corners with no outs for the Hillers. Connor Kelly, the right fielder, will step in. Wind up and the pitch runner taking off from first as this is hit in the air to center field. It is caught. Runner will have to tag back at first. Runner from third is going to tag and score. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Connor Kelly. Amber Sony scores to make it a 7 0 game as rain starting to fall a little bit harder now here at Bowditch Field. Stepping in is Alex Barker Hook as the sky's opening up a little bit. We do have an official game, so that's a good thing. They'll play in a little rain, but if any thunder and lightning come, they will call the game. First pitch is a ball. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. John Ritz doing everything he can to protect the camera. And we don't expect it to be a long storm, but you never know with this humidity. 1-0 count on Barker Hook. And there's a strike, checking at first, and runner is back safe. 
Seven nothing lead for Hopkinton. Connor Kelly with a sacrifice RBI fly out to score Ambersoni. Line up and the pitch. Breaking pitch inside. Two and two. Set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to center field. Could be trouble. And it is going to be caught for the out. Two away. That'll bring up Jack Breslin. Nick Anderson, the pitcher for Framingham. Third pitcher of the game. He had Nate Thurber start things off and go a pretty good four innings or so as this is hit in the air over to left field. And it is going to be dropped by the outfielder. And Sheamus is going to be safe at third. And now going to second is Breslin. And did he get in there? Yes, he did. So Breslin reaches on the error. That was a routine fly ball. And now you got runners on second and third and Dylan Locke coming to the plate. I don't even think Sheamus was aware that that ball was dropped. He could have easily sped home if he noticed. Big opportunity here for Dylan Locke, who's having a good day at the plate. One for two with a walk, and he drives this one in the air to center field. It's caught for the third out, but the Hillers play to run, and they lead it 7 to nothing as we head to the bottom of the sixth on HCAM. Bottom of the sixth inning, a seven nothing lead for the Hillers. Alex Barker Hook back out on the mound, pitching a good game so far. There's a bunt. Antonio Rivera at the plate, the second baseman. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the left side, slow roller past the reach of the shortstop, and aboard with a single is Rivera. That'll bring up Nick Spring, the right fielder. One on, no outs for Framingham. And the runner at first base takes off, throw to second. Did they get him? No. So a stolen base by Rivera. No movement. No movement. Play hitter. No movement. Line up and the pitch. Runner is taken off for third. It's a bunt. And the runner will get to third. And now it's an overthrow and a run will score. So Rivera took off for third, and then it was a bunt by Spring, and then an overthrow to first allows him to score. Next Spring's aboard on the error. First error of the game by Hopkinton, and now Cody Coleman will step in. A 7-1 Hopkinton lead. Line up and the pitch, down low. Come on, Al. Parker Hook looks at first and checks in, runner back. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the right side. That'll trickle into right field. Lead runner Nick Spring going to hold up at second. Single there by Coleman. Well, Framingham starting to feel a little bit in the batter's box as Luke Spring will step in. No outs in the inning. Two on, a run in for Framingham. Swing and a miss. Wind.
Wind starting to pick up a little bit here at Bowditch Field, that pitch outside. I wonder what the leash will be with Barker Hook. Obviously you got yourself a six run lead still. You're gonna try to let him battle through, but Framingham starts to rally here. Swing and a miss, one and two. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera, Senior Ruth Baseball playoffs. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike and he got him. One away. That'll bring up Alexis Rivera, the shortstop. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Hey, John, when you get a second, get the jacket off the terra deck in tennis. That might be what's doing it. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. One and one. Parker Hook steps off. He wants a discussion with Locke. So they're going to take a moment to talk things over. Wind up and the pitch up high. Two and two. And he got him, two away. Nine strikeouts in the game for Barker Hook as Nate Thurber steps in. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. He deals, and this is up the middle, and it is going to get pa past the shortstop, and he'll have no play. An error there. Second error by Hopkinton. And now it's bases loaded for Framingham. J.J. Blanchard to the plate. Now we're gonna have a pinch hitter here. It is going to be Nick Anderson who came in to pitch. Down low. Line up and the pitch. Low there, 2 0. A 7 1 Hopkinton lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Framingham does have the bases loaded, but there is two outs. There's a strike. Well, if any other runs score in this inning, they would be unearned. There's an error on the shortstop that allowed the inning to continue. 2-1, swing and a miss. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That won't look good to me, but the umpire didn't like it, full count.
Light up and the pitch, and this is up the right side. Glove by the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Uh, four to three, four out number three. We will head to the top of the seventh. Hopkinton leading Framingham seven to one on H cam. Top of the seventh inning, a seven to one Hopkinton lead. We do have word that Marlboro defeated Medway today, 7-4. So Marlboro will be advancing to the championship series against the winner of this Hopkinton-Framingham series. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Matt Cooper at the plate to face Nick Anderson. Of course, if Hopkinton wins today, if they hang on and walk away with the victory, we'll see you tomorrow night at Hopkinton High School. And if Framingham wins, they would advance. One and one. So Framingham will be down to their final three outs in the next half inning. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. One and two. Set to deliver. There's a breaking pitch, a little low, two and two. Set to deliver. A little low there, that'll fill up the count. Hey, Coop. hey, Niner. Cooper gone, Doherty do up. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. There's out number one. And bring up Andrew gone. Gone so far today, has flown out, been hit by a pitch and walked. And he'll foul this one off. Oh and one. Set to deliver, outside. One and one is the count. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and two. And he'll get a piece of this one, hit in the air, over to left field, and it's gonna be dropped. The center fielder called him off and then could not make the catch. A one out single for gone. Certainly a tough catch to make. That'll bring up Chase Doherty. So one out, one on for Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch, outside. One and oh is the count. There's a strike, one and one. Set to deliver. Down low gets a by the catcher. Andrew Gunn will advance on the wild pitch. Two and one count now. Set to deliver. There's a strike. Two and two. Runner on second, one out for the Hillers. 
Swing and a miss, out number two. That'll bring up Scott Pagliuca. He's 0 for 1 today. Came in to pinch hit in the fifth. And he'll drive this one up the first base line. That is a foul. Not really a line going up the dirt. It's certainly tough to see. Oh, and one. Line up and the pitch. Outside, throw up to second, runner back. One and one. Anderson looks at second and deals. Swing and a miss, one and two. The seven to one Hopkinton lead here in the top of the seventh. Killers would certainly like another insurance run, but they have Framingham down to their final three outs next inning. That was a little high. Throw to second, runner back safe. Two and two. Anderson deals, and this is up the middle, and it is going to be handled by the shortstop. Throw to first, and he pulled the first baseman off the bag, and everyone's safe. So an error there, an errant throw. Should have been routine. And now Ambersoni will step in. Fourth error of the game for Framingham. Make that the fifth error. Yeah, they've had a rough time in the field today. Amber Sony steps in. Two outs in the inning, runners on the corners. And he'll take that one high. Amber Sony 0 for 3 with a walk and a run scored. Side, two and oh. Wind up and the pitch down low, three and oh. Well, that's often what happens, you get an error like that. You think the inning's gonna end and then it, it kind of Affects the focus of the pitcher. Wind up and the pitch. Here's a walk. Anderson was cruising right along up until that error. And now it's bases loaded, two outs, and the always dangerous Ronnie Sheamus to the plate. He's two for two at the plate. And he's also been hit by a pitch and walked. And he'll get a piece of this one, hit high in the air, over to right field, and it is caught. Nick Spring just able to hang on to it. Four out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh. Framingham down to their final three outs, trailing Hopkinton seven to one on H cam. Bottom of the seventh inning, Hopkinton leading Framingham seven to one. Jack Breslin on the mound to close it out. Taking over in left field for Breslin is Tyler Morse. It was a sensational start for Alex Barker Hook who went six very strong innings. Ended up giving up just one run, wind up and the pitch up high. 
And he also had a number of strikeouts on the day. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. He had nine strikeouts to be exact. Very impressive stuff by Alex Barker Hook up high. And hit wise, he did not give up a whole lot of those. He gave up four hits. So just a sensational performance by Barker Hook. This is hit up the left side, picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first is high. And an error there by Sheamus. Allows Ramirez to reach. That'll bring up Andrew Keen. Well, the Hiller is uh, very sound defensively all game long, but the last couple innings, a couple of mishaps. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. That was the third error of the game by Hopkinton. That pitch is low. Checking at first, and the ball's going to get away, and the runner will take off. Another errant throw, and now there's a runner in scoring position for Framingham. And Breslin needs some time. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch there, one and two. He deals, and this is chopped foul. Count will remain one and two. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike three and out number one, Framingham. Down to their final two outs. That'll bring up Brian O'Donnell. If the Hiller is able to hang on and get these two outs, we'll see you at Hopkinton High School tomorrow night for a 6.30 first pitch. There's a strike. And the winner of that game will advance to take on Marlboro, who took down Medway today. 7-4 was the final in that one. Marlboro wins two straight. Runner from second is taking off as this is hit foul above us. Oh, and one. Runner from second will have to retreat. Oh, and two is the count. Little low, one and two. And they got him. Second strikeout by Breslin, two away. Antonio Rivera will step in. Well, your player of the game, I, I got to give it a Alex Barker Hook, who had a tremendous pitching performance, went six innings, giving up four hits, one run, and had nine strikeouts, and also at the plate, 
walked a couple times and scored a pair of runs. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air over to center field. It's caught, and the Hopkinton Hillers complete the 7-1 victory. An impressive performance by the Hillers out there tonight as they are able to tie the series at one game apiece, and they will play on tomorrow night at the Hopkinton High School turf fields, a 6.30 first pitch. And that one and the winner of tomorrow night's game will advance to the championship series against Marlboro. Hopkinton plates seven runs on seven hits, committing four errors. Framingham, one run on five hits, committing five errors. And your player of the game is going to be Alex Barker Hook, who went six innings on the mound, and he was also able to draw a couple of walks and score a pair of runs as the Hillers grab the win tonight to even up the series at one apiece over Framingham, seven to one. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Senior Ruth Baseball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow night for game three of this best of three series. Good night, everybody.